welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today, tonight, we are going to decorate my tiered tray. So I have all the stuff out here. We're going to do one quick DIY from the Dollar Tree and then we're going to just fill it in. So I thought it would be fun to come along. So I'm going to show you. I'm still decorating. If you could see the counter space and there's Alex. He loves his little tree. That's his little cat tree. He sleeps on that. So the house is kind of in a shambles because I got Christmas everywhere. But I want to get this tiered tray done. So I'm going to show you what I have. Now, the supplies. And they're everywhere. I have from the Dollar Tree the good old trusty 15 foot of garland. You can use any garland that you have on hand. I grabbed one of these gold trees and I stripped it of its garland because I just want the tree form. I don't necessarily want the gold. But if that's your aesthetic, just leave it. Then you don't have to change it. It just doesn't fit for me. Um, I brought out the heavy duty wire cutters, glue gun, glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. I am also going to use this um, pine cone garland. I have two. I undid one already. I'm also going to use this berries, the green and white. I also have throwing stuff all over the floor. I don't know what I threw. I have a just different little ornaments. Mostly it'll be this size here. I have white, black, and red. Those were from Target from a few years ago. I've got my glue gun heating up on a really long extension cord. Now, I did pick up at the Dollar Tree poinsettias. I have some sparkly stuff, but then I ran to Joanne today because I needed more green and they had their greenery 60% off. So I grabbed these two picks for, they were regularly $3.99 a piece. So I paid less than $2. And the thing is, yes, I could have gotten stuff at the Dollar Tree. I missed the greenery, so this is what I bought. And I'll probably not cut that apart. This boxwood pick is huge. Like, I would never find this at the Dollar Tree. And it's just some boxwood with a little bit of snow and some berries on it. And then I picked up some frosted eucalyptus. These were um, $7.99. This was $7.99. I think the other one was seven or nine. I, I'm not sure to be exact. This is what I know. I'm, it's stuck together. I spent $10 on all this greenery that I'm gonna cut apart and utilize. So, you know, it's definitely a little more than the Dollar Tree, but it's really not that much more. So let's change our direction. I'm gonna show you this quick and easy, how I'm gonna transform this, which you probably already know now. And then we're gonna decorate this tear tray. One second. Did I mention scissors? Like you always need scissors, right? And you don't really, I don't feel like I'm gonna need a ton of hot glue, but I wanted it just in case. I can't get it apart. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I unwound everything else because I was like, you're not gonna be that girl. Now, if this one's not enough footage, yardage, length, I have more upstairs. I'll just have to pause and run and grab it. So we'll see. But honestly, I love this frame. It's got these little spikes on it that held the garland, but it's also gonna hold this green. So let's see if we're heated up yet. Maybe, maybe not. Not yet. This gun is great, but it, it takes forever to kind of heat up. But once it's hot, it's hot. All right, so I'm just going to, and I'm also going to bend it around the frame. This is, this garland is on wire. So that's the beauty of it. Um, I'm not too worried about the bottom because it'll be covered. Oh, it's biting it. I love it. That's what I was hoping these teeth would do is kind of the wire land, you know, where it needs to go. And if this is not perfectly covered, again, that's fine. I'm gonna be putting other things on it. Just kind of hoping, and a wing and a prayer here, guys, that 15 feet will, co will cover this. I'm not even gluing because it's really catching on those little spiky things, it's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm like, I have a spot right here 
but I'm going to be gluing, oops, don't get off track. Oh yeah, I'm going to have plenty, probably enough to go up and then I'll turn around and go back down. Oh, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to stay in frame, watch this tree and be quick about this. I don't have my star for this, I don't think. I may put a star on it, who knows. There, I went up and now I'm just literally going back down so I can use the whole 15 feet and it fills in any spots. Look at that guys, how awesome is that? And then because it's wired, I'm literally just shoving it and I mean like shoving it in there and pinching it, done. Now we have a big old green Christmas tree and that's what I wanted, this greenery. Okay, so if you haven't found this garland, you can just glue pine cones, but I found it, I wanna use it, and I'm, it's a mess, but it's on wire, which I again find fascinating, Dollar Tree. You're really, really stepping up your game this year. So it's brown wire with little different colored trees. So I think what I will do though is start at the top and use this pine cone as my star, if you will, for the top of the tree. So I just put a fair amount of glue and I just want it to stick to the top. You could start from the bottom too. I want to make sure the top has enough. If it doesn't. I have more pine cones here. I also have flocking, but I have a lot of like sparkly flocked stuff, so I don't know that I need to flock everything. Now, the cool thing is this brown, you can all, you won't be able to see it, I don't think, but I sure can. I just want to kind of wrap this tighter. And again, this is probably going to be enough if I had to guess, to go up and down maybe. Um, but yeah, how fun is that? Oh, it stuck to me. It stuck. And by to me, I mean it's not stuck to me. It's stuck to the cords below. And I'm just wiring, not wiring, guys. I'm just spinning. Now, I will do a dab of glue here at the bottom. And then I'm going to spin my way back up. Just to make sure it stays... And when you're working with this greenery stuff, you really want to be generous with your hot glue because, um, you know, it's fake greenery. Now I'm just going to go back up. And you, this will definitely, I think, in my opinion, have a front and back. Now I am putting on a tiered tray that kind of goes around the whole table, but I will pick the better side to go on the front because that's how I roll. Okay, I'm just putting it here and then I'm going to put my last piece again with the hot glue. Sorry, I'm going off camera. But how easy is that? There. And see, there's like really a lot of bald spots. I could take more, but I don't think I'm going to. I mean, I could take more pine cones out of here. I guess we will. Since it's not real even on that and I have the pine cones, why don't we just glue some on here? And they're different colors, which is kind of cool too. So you're just going to daub them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the white garland or not. I don't know. What do you guys think? Help me. Okay, this is fun. And they stick rather well. The larger ones I will keep out. I'm just using the smaller ones for the tree. The bigger ones I'll use as a filler. That's also what the green is for. And I'll show you when we get over to my tiered tray here why we need filler. All right, that looks good on that side. Let's go on this side. I was going to take this outside outside and spray it, but I don't think it needs to be flocked. What do you guys think? Because I have plenty of other flocked items. That's what I'm thinking. You know? Oh, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just gluing 
pine cones randomly around it. I saw someone, and God help me, I can't remember what channel it was, but they tr covered an entire tree in these pine cones. And that took work, let me tell you, because I watched her do it. And I said, oh, girl, no, I'm not doing that. That's too much work. Okay. So I feel like that is good. Well, I lie. I found a spot. Here's the problem with my life. I will always find a spot. But I have one spot right there, and then we're going to call it. There we go. Okay, we're going to do the garland around it, but I'm only, oops, sorry, I'm only going to go one time around just to give it some more color. So I'm going to start up under there, and I'm just wiring it down. You won't see the bottom of this tree where it's going to be sitting. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to want to give it a little extra color. If you had any of the other colors, I do have red upstairs, but I'm using other things for red and I'm trying to be more neutral with this room. This is where my little Norwegian scene is. I'll show you. When I do the tour, you'll see. I will put a tour up this time, I promise. I failed at Halloween's giving, mostly because I was just tired of life at this point <laughs> and I wasn't feeling well um and I don't know if I mentioned if you saw my vlog I do not have COVID I was tested okay there I like that with just a little pop of white okay let me change camera angles one more time and then we are going to do the tiered tray here's my tray I have I bought this I guess it's a placemat but it's just greenery so I bought that to sit my tray on and let's get you an angle. We're gonna do the top first. This loop here, I want to face, I guess it doesn't matter where it faces because I'm going to cover it with our tree. How is that got, oh, we need more up a little higher. There we go. Is that better? I think so. So if you see the white in here, I took styrofoam and cut it. This tray is very deep. And I didn't want it so deep. So I just filled it with some styrofoam. I took it, it unscrews. I cut styrofoam, popped holes in the middle. It's not perfect, but I like it. So I wanted to put this tree in the center and then build the top tier around it. How fun is that, right? So the top tray, we've got the, obviously the tree and I've got all kinds of goodies in here. A lot of the bigger things I feel like need to go on to the bottom, but I do love a good Santa, right? I'm gonna cut a lot of, these are all pretty much ornaments, but I don't feel like I need, oh, his little bell. And I feel like I got this at Walmart last year, the year before for like 98 cents. You see how he's gonna go in there like that? Okay. Let's dial it back, Lori. We need some fill-in around the top here. And I think what I need is some more Christmas tree and then build on top of that. So one moment. And like I said, if you don't have this green, or you could totally, if you were doing a more sparkly, fill the bottom in with like this garland. I'm just not in this room. So, let me see, how many times around do you think we need it? Three, maybe? Because I really want it filled in. But I want to save some room for the bottom, some more for the bottom, too. That'll go in the bottom. The beauty about this garland, like I said, is it is um, wired. <laughs> so it holds its shape really well. If you were going to use it as actual garland, I would go with multiple, multiple um, layers of it. You mean like three or four. Okay, got that. I definitely want to put a Santa up here with my tree. Ooh, maybe on the front side, what do we think? So I definitely want a Santa. 
and a snowman. I also got him this at Walmart. So I'm building it circular, right? And I don't need a ton of things up here because I'm going to be putting definitely some greenery on each layer. So I think I'm gonna do this one. I want it to stick out. So I'm just gonna put it over here. And this is not scary stuff, guys. I used to be afraid to do this, but you know what? If it doesn't work, I just pull it out and start over, right? So this is the top. I think we need a pine cone up here too. This was from the Dollar Tree that came on the big wires. But I can put him, that like next to our tree. I don't know if I want that up here. See, I just moved something out. Sorry, I'm doing the back side here. And I don't need a lot of anything. Just some pine cones. And then we need some greenery. Happy holidays. <gasps> Ooh. Wowza. Eucalyptus. Oops, Santa stood up or laid down. Put Santa back up in here. And then some little mm, no. I don't like that. And then we're going to stick a sleigh. Oop. Just trying to keep it from, oh yeah, that's cute. So mine is all the way around, right? Let's just put you here and then I need one more piece of some greenery. And I think we're gonna pop out some boxwood. Cause I need some red. And that's, this is why I got out the big wire cutters. Um, there we go. And I feel like that top layer is done. So let's see. We have a sleigh over here, and then on that side, there's a Santa, and he's next to some greenery, and then over here, we have our greenery sticking out, and then on this side, we have pine cones, so it's really a three-sided, no matter where you're at. So next, we have the bottom. I'm going to bring you down. It's going to be a little more challenging to see down here, but we're going to do it. Now, this one's gonna just be a little different, but I'm gonna try, see if I can get at least some of this. I'm gonna put a lot of greenery in the bottom, but you always want some base. It's all about that base, right? No treble. Cause this is a good layer. Okay. And nothing exciting about this. Just get it in there. There we go. So we have that. I have a lot of things. Like I have this little um, ice skate. This one came from Hobby Lobby. So we'll stick something. Oh, I also wanted to put a poinsettia up here. The poinsettia will go up on top by Santa. Maybe, come on, or not. You know what, when the stick's too long, you just cut it. There we go, that's better. Sorry, I moved around the top. I wanna fill in the middle here with poinsettias. 
um, just for that pop of color. You won't really see too much down in here. And I'm just, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm sorry, this is a hard angle. Let's see, maybe I'll bring it down. Better angle. So I'm just taking these red poinsettias, I'm trimming the sticks down, or the stems, so I can go all the way around the center, just with that red. And then I'm gonna put some of my like ornament type stuff. I have an owl. I think our snowman will fit down here nicely. Over here, we'll do the shoe. And I need a fourth. Oh, I know what was going down here. On the front side, I have these ice skates. These also um, were from... Hobby Lobby several years ago, but I think they might still have them. That's hard to tell. But on the front side, I really wanted these ice skates. How fun is that? Just a big old pair of ice skates on my little tiered tray. And then, oh, let me maybe go this way. You just gotta fuss with things. There you go. Or there I go, I suppose. All right, we got the bottom all the big things that we want back to the greenery Maybe we'll, and I like I said I will fuss with this and fuss with this until I'm happy when is that I don't know hard to tell but I do know that everything is better when you shove some greenery in between it that's my philosophy right doesn't that look better come over here we need a little space here I definitely want to do this big one on the opposite of the other. All right. I'm just cutting some of this. I want to say it's flocked, but honestly, it feels like fur. Um, eucalyptus, and then I'm going to slip some white Dollar Tree eucalyptus in there with that green to give it a nice feel. And then some more green underneath. <gasps> Do you love that? You'll get a better view here in a minute when I take you on the full tour. Okay, this over here I wanted on the opposite of side of the one upstairs. So I did that, see, I wanted it. So I did it. That's how things roll. I also have a bunch of um, this gold that I might find a spot for. We'll see. And then that. I'm also, as I'm turning it towards me, <laughs> I'm looking up at the top to see what is missing up here. Now that I have a better idea of where everything is going, I'm going to fill in. I want to make it pretty full, right? I love it. Okay, down here on the back side, I've got this like gap here. So we're gonna put pine cones for sure. Maybe this big pine cone, this other big one. Um, like I said, I got these on from the Dollar Tree. They're on metal spikes. But what's fun is you can tuck things back in there and just make it look so full. There we go. Mr. Snowman is happy. Oh, guys, I am loving this. Now, I do want just a little tiny bit of gold. And I mean like a little tiny bit. As well as a little tiny bit of green down here as well. There. I feel like... This is good. I don't know what y'all think. There, I will clean up my mess and I will take you on a tour of the centerpiece. All right, everybody. There is the table. I love it. The centerpiece is so pretty. And it goes all the way around. 
So I hope you enjoyed putting this together with me and see how easy it is to create your own. Oh, and I did want to show you as well. My Christmas cactus is in full bloom. It is beautiful. Mom, my plants, they're pretty happy here for the winter. They got a little heat under them. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.